Hello, I just want to quickly show um, show around my custom bill of, the, of a game book color. There's a lot of them out there. Um, but this one's mine. It has a chargeable USB-C mod. Uh, it's a 2,000 milliamp uh, battery. And uh, uh, what I wanted is to show off and in a good way to help out other people building these custom mods is one of the problems that I see with these Q5 LCDs, uh, or should I say OSD all-in-ones, is that they use the select or start button to do the brightness control or to do the OSD menu. And you'll notice something in a second about mine, but um, I'm gonna do the best I can because I'm using this backwards to show it off in the camera. Another thing is that this thing has a, uh, has a, an amp, so just to show you how loud it is. That's the loudest, but this is ridiculously loud that my wife has me turning it down all the time. Anyway, I will lower it. And now let's get to the point. I'm not pressing the wrong button, of course it's A. So if you have to use the start or select, there's games like Pokemon or um, Link's Awakening Zelda games that use the select and start button. Uh, to do soft resets or to save. For example, if you want to do a uh, save in Link's Awakening, you have to press start and select A and B. Um, I didn't even do it correctly. Let's see if I can do it again. Yeah, that's pretty hard to do like this. Come on. Nope, um, I guess it's not going to do it. I'm going to have to turn it around. <laughs> there you go look look at how hard that was to get to it and that's just to get to the to the save menu so you can see how hard that's going to be with uh with, with a osd or all-in-one kit and my point here is that um if you did that to change the brightness level every time or to enter the menu that'd be such a pain I don't know why my LCD is doing that on the screen that it's flickering, but it's not doing that in real life. Anyway, what I decided to do to avoid that every time I want to do a soft reset or save in a game like this one is add a button. And that's where that comes in. That's just a tactile button. Uh, you could get them very cheaply. I got like a hundred of them for like $10 off of eBay. And it's not that truing it's uh very um as you can see it barely comes off at all maybe a centimeter or two millimeter sorry and it's cool because all i do now is just and i just turned this in black and white by accident but all i do now is just hold this button and now i can i guess it's at the lowest brightness right now i can raise the brightness raise it raise it raise it and raise it lower, 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 and lower. And I don't have the OSD one, this is an all in one, but if I want to change the color palette, again, I just hold it. We got blue, we got green, we got red, and so forth. You get the point. So I think this is really neat, and I think it's much better than having to use the select or start button because you can just look at that. That's wonderful. And all you do is just solder the cable that would have gone to select to one of the joints and just ground it. So that's all I want to show off. Uh, if anyone's interested, um, I could show them where I got the parts from. Uh, where to solder them is pretty straightforward. You just connect it to ground in any point. There's so many points over here or on top of the capacitors for ground. And then the what would have been the 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 select button just gets soldered to one of the other joints. Well, hopefully, you, hopefully you enjoyed this video.